Good day, I'm Samantha Allen and this is your GIS News for Friday, September 27. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has called on world leaders to make road safety an integral part of the post-2015 Sustainable Development Goal Framework. The Prime Minister was speaking on Thursday at the United Nations Forum on Sustainable Transport and Road Safety in New York. Tackling road traffic injuries is an important and achievable objective which should be part of the agenda. The most effective way to reduce the appalling health burden of road traffic injuries is to integrate road safety securely within wider goals. Pointing to Jamaica's support of the resolution to establish the UN Decade of Action for Road Safety, Mrs. Simpson Miller said the island was willing to work with the international community to make roads safer for all. She noted that motor vehicle crashes had a negative impact on families, productivity, and sustainable development. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister is once again calling on Jamaican motorists, especially operators of public passenger vehicles, to be cautious on the road. In a statement from New York, Mrs. Simpson Miller said it was heartrending to learn of the untimely deaths of the students at Homewood Technical High School in Christiana, Manchester this week. She expressed condolences to their families and friends. School administrators and parents of the Homewood Technical High School will be exploring a long-term transportation system for students. Education Minister Ronald Thwaites, who led a tour at the school on Thursday, said a special committee meeting would be held to discuss the issue in detail. Minister Thwaites told JIS News that talks would continue next Thursday at a parent-teachers meeting. They have agreed to set up a community organization which would designate buses to operate in a disciplined manner between Christiana and the points from which students come. As part of a pilot project, Homewood currently has two coaster buses transporting students and is calling on the school community to support the initiative. Government and other stakeholders have been supporting schools in the Mandeville and Christiana areas following Wednesday's tragic bus crash which killed four students from Homewood Technical. Efforts to better protect Jamaicans from security threats via the internet will continue next week with the tabling of recommendations for amendments to the Cyber Crimes Act. The amendments will make provision for changes in technology and methods used by criminals to better allow the police to go after offenders. Part of what we did with the amendment is to ensure that the legislation captures a number of this, these new developments which the prosecutors have told us and the police have told us they didn't have the capacity to prosecute and they were using other bits of legislation to try and prosecute. Minister Robinson was addressing a JIS think tank session on Wednesday. He said a cyber emergency response team is to be established by the first quarter of 2014 with help from the International Telecoms Union. In the meantime, members of the public are invited to a two-day conference on cybersecurity and digital forensics from September 30 to October 1 at the University of the West Indies, Mona. The theme for the conference is protecting identity, banking and citizen information networks. Interested persons can register online online at cybersecurity2013.msbm-uwi.org. In the meantime, the Prime Minister has been using her trip to the United Nations General Assembly in New York to meet with Jamaica's international development partners. On Thursday, Mrs. Simpson Miller met with IDB President Luis Alberto Moreno. She updated him on a number of local initiatives being funded by the bank. The Prime Minister is expected to deliver Jamaica's policy statement to the UN General Assembly on Saturday. The broadcast will be carried live on PBC Jamaica starting at 8 a.m. with live streaming available through the JIS website. JIS .gov.jm. The Education Ministry will soon be implementing the next phase of the USAID Jamaica Education Project. The project, which was started in 2010 by the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, provides support to 250 schools through the Education Transformation Program. The Ministry of Education extends appreciation to the government and people of the United States for their kindness in funding through USAID this very important project aimed at improving the literary, literacy skills of our children. Through teacher training programs in 172 primary schools, the project is part of efforts to improve the reading skills of students in grades 1 through 3. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Samantha Allen. Thanks for watching.